Ferris, I'm sure Sildur is alive. How can you say that? Did you hear those screams of terror? Nobody could have survived that. Nobody. Drifting and drifting. Now we're switching to Illusion of Gaia vibes here. And suddenly realizing we have feelings for Kara. <laughs> How do I even remember her name? Well, this is it. If we don't get scurvy first, we're just gonna pass away out here. See, Gallop's not such an old man. He was the first one up here. Look at this guy. Oh, I'm glad Lena got to be the one to wake me up. Where are we? The ship graveyard. A home of undead monsters made by the remains of drifting ships that gathered. Well, whatever. Let's get out of this place. Don't mind if I do. This is where I think not having the sprint shoes is really going to start to hurt a little bit. But, you know, and I know I've already checked these rooms, but I just want to check it again. Oh, yeah. If I can do it for free. What you call this, catching a few Z's? Why don't you all just sleep in the same bed? That's what we always did before. Good lord, man. Alright, we've already... yeah. But it's a free heal. Also, this is great music, by the way. I'm probably gonna be saying that a lot as I go through this game, because there's plenty of great songs. We're not going in there. Except I'm hearing the background more than I'm hearing the foreground, for some reason. I don't know if it's some weird artifact of how the sound is produced or something. Uh oh, here we go. Good block, Galif, good block. I guess Evade does work in this game. Well, it's weird, because they say that Evade doesn't work in Final Fantasy VI, but you still block stuff sometimes. So what is the determining factor of that, I wonder? Spell learning? Well, there you go, dude. What do they mean by spell learning? Don't you learn it from monsters? Huh. So we did learn Goblin Punch before we had that ability, so that makes me think that must be a different kind of spell. Let's see, we could observe, but that's fine, whatever. Let me just try this out, out of curiosity here. It doesn't use any MP, which is interesting. It was about the same as a regular attack. Probably depends on what you actually use it on, though. This is a rather big group of monsters we're fighting here, but then... Hey, more experience, baby. There is nothing else to say about the stuff. Alright, Ferris gained the last job level. Good for you, Ferris. You finally caught up with the rest of the party, let me tell ya. Oh, good lord. What's going on in here? Is this something I can enter out? Oh, boy. I wonder if I'm supposed to be in here yet. <laughs> Skipping a lot of crap. Oh, whoa, maybe not. Okay, that's a tent. How are we looking on life, anyway? I don't want to be too careless here. Lena could probably use a potion, but we can wait it out. Then again, it's not like most RPGs where you get your HP filled up when you gain a level. You might be thinking, oh, well, I can just hold off, because maybe I'll gain a level. Like, even Paper Mario heals you when you gain a level. Secret of Mana does, too. So do a lot of other RPGs, but Final Fantasy does not do that. <laughs> Final Fantasy affords you no such luxury, my players. Ah, we're hitting different targets here. Why are we doing that? I'm just holding the button down. It's probably because one of us attacked before that skeleton was dead, and the other attacked after he was dead. I don't know. Doesn't matter too much. We're, we're okay here. It's taking them out, baby. I love these big groups of monsters, though. It's always good experience. Anytime a monster is, like, really thick and has, like, a lot of pixels inside of him, I always equate that to a lot of experience as well. Can I go down here? I can, but can I advance is the thing. Do you really want to go through here? We'll get all wet. What are you saying? Let's go. 
You're a pirate, you're no stranger to this, are you? Yeah, let's see here. Let's get one for you, one for you, uh, the rest of you are okay for now. If you're not over 50 under the max HP, I'm not gonna give you one. Alright, Bart's gained a level there, but we also took a lot of damage, so... It's starting to be a really good thing that we got those potions, let me tell you. And we're still gaining job points too, so why not? Wait, oh, over here. Over here, fellas, you're not gonna drown in this, are you? There's like two ways to go there, too, isn't there? Let's go down here. Or maybe not. Well, there goes another dagger for our inventory. You never have too many daggers, I suppose. Oh, we're getting way down there. Holy crap, dude! Let's go back and get more potions! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh wait, we need to go down to get back up here, don't we? Alright, so I don't want to overdo it with the potions here, because I know in my luck I'm going to hit a save point, you know, and it's going to be like, oh, I didn't need to do that. So that's going back up there, so where does this go? Oh, boy. Yeah, there's quite a bit here. Hmm. Well, more experience for the coffers here, but I'll tell you, man. I really wish I knew the way forward. I'm gonna try going up, actually, first. This looks climbable, but wait, it's not Mystic Quest, dude. Oh, I see, this probably just goes to a treasure here, doesn't it? Okay, alright, that works. Is there anything else down here? Alright. I'm actually glad I went that way first. Turned out to be a lucky guess more than anything. Now at least we know here we can just go straight down into the water. Bzz, bzz. Undead Rusk? I think that's supposed to be Undead Husk, actually, but uh... <laughs> but okay. Not a big deal with those guys. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it was them or something else, but I think there's a blue magic spell we can learn from them. And this is gonna fall out from under me, I can just feel it, or maybe not. Can we go down? I gotta stop falling for this, but... <laughs> I have to check, it's like I just... I have to check, I can't not check. Oh, what is that? Psycho head? Oh, pfft. Look at this thing! Was this some kind of human centipede monster we got going over here? Jeez. Gives new meaning to the term, with your tongue straight at my pot! Please don't hit Gallif, whatever you do. Damn, look at Ferris with this. Dude, are you serious, man? So first you have to hit him, and then you gotta hit for that exact much damage. You are, uh... Oh, wait, stop. I don't want him missing out on the experience here. It is a phoenix down, I know, but... We can get more later. Doesn't matter. There we go. Lots of gold here, man, let me tell you. Okay, so what we got here? You know what I'm gonna do? Sort this for a minute here. And then I'm gonna switch you and you. There we go. Just so we have easier access to our stuff here. I'm actually gonna leave it at that because I'm telling you, I get the feeling there's gonna be a save point. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I need to ruin this. Oh, jeez. Right. Shouldn't be playing so close, so close to the chest here is the problem. Or, I mean... Oops. Uh, my bad. Since one of these floors fall through, the ones upstairs didn't do that, or the ones downstairs, rather. Ah, here we go. Man, I'm soaked. So, take a rest. Let's do it. Oh, you cock tease. So I get to stand out here and do what? Jack off? Jack off when I'm this cold. Dry our clothes. What's she drying them with? A hair dryer? An industrial strength hair dryer that she can't live without? <laughs> They're on to you, Ferris. Give it up. She's like, I don't need this. What's going on? You guys are acting like a couple of. Mm. Yep. Apparently Lena's the only one who didn't know. But why? <laughs> because I was born that way? Because baby, I was born this way. I can't help what I say. 
Can't hear if I got a nice big fat JJ or a the J. Never mind. That's what I get for trying to make up lyrics. A female pirate would just get laughed at. Who says? Johnny Depp's female. Hey, just remember that my being female doesn't make me any less important. I'm just as good as you guys. You know it. Oh. Conveniently four beds right here on this ship. As if somebody knew we were going to be coming through here. Some random game programmer or possibly a, you know, a god of this world. And apparently Galif likes sleeping with the covers off. You know, for the longest time, I couldn't stand... What? Was he, like, floating? Okay, whatever. Yeah, Ferris is Ferris, you know? These guys are already acting like they know each other. It's just cool, you know? So, Lena, what were you doing in here? Oh, I see. You did have an industrial strength hair dryer that you can't live without in here. Oh, and of course... We don't even need to use a tent because it did it for us. That's fine. So we got so many tents anyway, might as well. Be thankful for the free heal we got here. So how much more of this is there, I wonder? I always remember this dungeon, or if you even call it a dungeon, as being particularly long. I see the rock over there, I can't exactly get to it though. Oh, maybe I don't need to. Boing boing. <laughs> Who says he couldn't jump in Final Fantasy? Something we might need to make some rocks up here or something like that. I've seen this before. Ah, here we go. Alright, where's the switch? There's gotta be a switch around here somewhere. And I'm not talking about you know what. The earphones keep popping out of my ears. It's like they got these little foam things that retract from the pressure of your ear canal. But then that means they can also be pushed out if the foam expands against the side of your ear and pushes the ear phone out. Well, that made no sense whatsoever. Antidote. Antidote. Phoenix down, huh? Well, we just gained a bunch more levels here. So let's see if we got any sort of hidden treasures over here or anything. Shut up, bot. I grabbed another elixir from those guys. That was pretty sweet. Alright, so what are we doing here? Running through the cabins, trying to find ourselves a switch on this strange... Whoa. How did I end up back over here? That's... Oh, wait. Alright then, so what have we changed here? This over here, perhaps? Ooh, look at this. Oh! <laughs> well, that's... Did we just watch Titanic backwards here? Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, uh, I think this is it, actually. Ooh, we may want to... Oh, it's not gonna let us, is it? Crap. I didn't know what the cutoff point was for this, uh... <laughs> anyway, prepare yourselves for a cutscene. Mommy! Bart's come here, honey. Mom. This can't be right. All of my logic defies this. Yet I find myself inexorably drawn towards her. Daddy, is that really you? Of course it is, Princess Vespa. Would I lie? Rawls eyes. <laughs> oh god, both of them? Why? Gallif, don't you dare. Alright. Grandpa, come over here. He's like, nope. Who are you? I can't remember. Oh, I think his amnesia is about to save him here because... Uh-oh! Sucked our soul. Oh, boy. Yeah. This boss. <laughs> oh, man. Who? Oh, man. I thought that said something else for a second there. Why won't my spell work on you? I am Siren. I have taken the souls of these three. If you don't try to hinder me, I will let you go. Sorry, but I can't let you do that. Because they're my friends. Even though I kind of just met them and everything. Don't be fooled by her. Open your eyes. 
well. Oh, he struck the lady. Did you see that? Yeah, it's almost for you and your ghosts. What, well, you're gonna think you're gonna trick us with some bull crap? <laughs> we came back to our senses 15 seconds after we were just at our senses. At our senses? Why doesn't anybody ever say that? They say come back to your senses as though your senses were a location. Stand guard. Does Barks like say that after every. Oh. Before every boss fight here or something? The okay, so first thing we want to do here is get everybody in the back row. Because this boss, we know what, I might leave Bart's in the front. No, no, he's going in the back too. Um, this boss has some rather disgusting attacks. And I'd rather not become prey to those. She doesn't seem so bad at first, so here's the problem though. It changes to an undead. And when she does this, she's gonna start hitting for about... Mm, more damage than Bart's can take, I'll tell you that. But on the other hand, because she's undead... Oh, shoot. What is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. My... Something just popped up on my screen. Cancel, whatever it is. What? Can't... Oh, jeez. Scared the crap out of me there. Alright, I don't know what that was. It said support assist? I don't even know what that is. Is that some kind of program that put itself on my computer? Good lord, man. Oh, she's back to normal. Okay, well, we can just do this for a little bit. I suppose we could try the goblin punch, but... Can't see it being too terrible. Well, maybe from the back row it's the same? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. How about that? Well, never mind, then. Hey, yeah, look at this. We got ourselves a strata here. A strati! I couldn't decide whether to say strategy or strat, so I said strati. Oh, you're gonna heal yourself now, are you? Well, that's too bad, because I'm just gonna take it right back away from you here. I'm already seeing... Why blue mages are awesome. Already seeing it. This is fantastic. We're doing this from the back row, y'all. What? Oh, she's asleep. Okay, um... Would you like to... Ugh, I don't want to hit her. Okay, when she goes to undead, though, we're gonna to turn back to potions here. And hopefully, with a few more turns... I think Leno will be okay with just leave her alone. Oh, well, okay. Maybe not now. Right, keep at it, keep at it. You know what, go ahead and give her one, because I don't want to have to use a Phoenix down if it comes to that. But yeah, can you imagine being in the front row and taking that attack? Yeah, that would be basically be 100 damage. And you don't want that, so... By all means. Man, I really should have run back to that save point and healed up. Bear hug, one more. Oh, wait, he blocked it. That was, you could not have picked a better time to do that, gal, let me tell you. We'll just take you out one potion at a time here, if that's what we gotta do. Alright, is she about to go back to normal here? Because, oh, crap, she is. Uh, see, that's the problem. Sometimes that'll happen. Right in between you putting in your command and her actually changing. So, let's negate that real fast here. Plus, now she doesn't really have any attack that's gonna put us in the danger zone here. So we just kinda spam our goblin punches here. Who would have thought goblin punch against Siren? Rather unusual combination, to be sure. Now she's scanning us for some reason. Apparently, she's a CPU who doesn't know what her own program is doing. So essentially, we are part of. well. I say she, but it's more like the game, really. It's like the game needs to know what my stats are because it doesn't know. See, so can you imagine trying to do this without using Goblin Punch or without potions? Standing in the front row taking 100 damage? At this point in the game, there's just no way. But I couldn't see it happening. I mean, even as it is, we're going through the potions pretty fast here. We may very well run out, but I don't think so. I feel like we have to be pretty close here. Because if you try to attack her in this form, I didn't even mention that. When she's in undead form, if you try to attack her, even in the front row, you'll do like 10 damage. And that's it. So attacking is completely pointless. Meanwhile, she just has her way with you. And it's nasty. 
I was really hoping I could like change my setup before, but I hit the cutoff point there and it threw me into the fight, and I wasn't at full health or anything. I was lucky I got out of that as well off as I did. Don't be embarrassed. I'm not. Who said I was embarrassed? Who said anything about being embarrassed? Ha <laughs> ha! The laugh. Another thing that was one of my favorite parts of Final Fantasy VI. That apparently was also part of this game as well. All right. Well, how's do we need healing? Um, we do, but I want to try to be careful because if it puts me out in the overworld here, I can just use a tent. Yes! Tent. Perfect. Tent it up, baby. 